it was, di you know, I don't even remember when it was diagnosed. I know I went back to, the, to a different doctor um, in the same facility and it, it was just too apparent to, I mean, there was no question. I mean, it is what it sounds like. It's restless legs. I don't even remember somebody saying, oh, you have it because I was already on the medication and then tried to get off one of them. I don't know if I was ever diagnosed. I think I just diagnosed myself after when I tried to get off the medication. And the only reason I was on it to see if I could sleep longer at night, which to this day, I still have insomnia. So that's never been fixed. A little better, but not a lot better. Here's my description. If somebody is playing with your funny bone, it's not funny, it doesn't make you laugh, and it's not tolerable. And it just must stop. You have to stop it. That's the closest thing I can come to for a description of, of this particular syndrome, but it's in my legs and my arms. I just all of a sudden like have to do this and I can't hold a pen or a pencil and sit any longer at the computer. And it's like spilkies. It's the only thing, you know, it's a word my parents used to use when we couldn't sit still. It, it was like, that's my best description for it. It's not pain, it's, but it's not a tolerable feeling. What helps the most is trying to get my mind on something other than my legs. And uh, she helps sometimes, getting my mind on her, um, just starting a project that requires a lot of brain power. Taking my mind off of my legs is the goal, is the key. And it must happen because eventually I can fall asleep. Doing something, doing something with brain power and literally moving, walking, because just doing this definitely didn't help my arms. You know, I had to literally get up and move. Nothing laissez-faire works when you've got restless leg syndrome. Nothing that's, you know, oh, whatever, you know, that's torture. I think that there are very few doctors that understand it. I think that there are some neurologists that probably understand it. Um, because it's different in everybody, so it's not like you get a cold and you sneeze and you, you know, you got two symptoms and, and you're trying to make, you know, the sneeze and the cough better. It's different in, in every person and I think it affects them all differently. But that's pretty much my RLS story. It's a ridiculous name for a disease because people sort of laugh at it. Um, but it's genuine. I, I can't even explain it, but it's horrible. If I haven't taken my medication, I am just, there's nothing else I can think about. It just overpowers my body, my mind. I have to stand up, I have to move, and nothing really makes it better except time and the medication.